of them can be arrested for anything. Even if he commits, if he commits murder in the motor park. But they can be arrested because there's a minute. So I'm about to praise the president and the governor for being disciplined. Because if they were to use their power, they can kill people and have no happen. They can go to the central bank and take all the money there and you cannot arrest or try them. So we have now removed that immunity, which is the father of impunity. By removing it, immunity, anybody before committing any crime, think twice. Before stealing public money, he will think to, twice. In addition, we have recommended the establishment of an anti corruption court. The problem we have now is that when a man is being tried for corruption, the thing goes on for four years, five years, so everybody forgets about it. We say in our recommendation that the anti corruption court must have its own procedure so that no trial will last more than 12 months. And anybody found guilty will go to jail for not less than 20 years. And all he has stolen will be taken back from him. And also, we say that those who be elected on the platform will be people who are transparent, who can go, who can beat their chest and say, we have never stolen public funds. And some of us are, by, are privileged by God to see after 30 years in public life. Our fashion was commissioner for finance to Papa Jashi. No breath of scandal. I was Minister of Finance and Economic Development. I said to the government of Nigeria under Baba I can say with all humility that I have never stood before. Those are the kinds of people we look for to represent our party. We must we are different. If you don't change this corrupt system, you will continue to be poor, you will continue to be unemployed, you will continue to be hungry. But they are stealing our money and we'll take it back to employ people. Sir, 